were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Say thank you Jesus for your blood. Thank you Jesus for your blood. Say it. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. Thank you, Jesus, thank you for your Yeshua, blood. for your blood. Thank you, Yeshua, for your blood. Once I was far off, but now I have been brought close to God Amen. the Father yes, Lord. because of your blood. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's what God has done. So the question is, how do we position ourselves to see God's deliverance, safety, prosperity, healing, welfare, and victory? Correct? We all desire all these things. Who doesn't desire? If anyone would, if you ask a pauper also sleeping on the street side, he'll say he desires all these things. Yeah. Who doesn't want all these things? Everyone wants. They all want deliverance. They all want safety. They all want prosperity. They all want healing. They all want welfare. And they all want victory. It is in the character in every human being. You do not like to be subdued. You do not like to be harassed. You do not like to live in affliction. You like to live prosperously and in a blessed state way in the welfare of God. Yeah. So how do we do it? The Bible says in Philippians 2, 12 to 30. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed. See what Paul is saying to the Philippian church. As you have what? Always obeyed. I like that word. Say always obey. Always, always obey. obey. Always obey. Come on, say loudly. Always obey. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Then he says, work out. Say work out. Work out. Your own salvation with fear and trembling. Huh? For it is God who works in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure. It is God who desires that you will be flourishing and you will be prospering before His presence. So what do you have to do? Huh? Got it? Right? That is what workout means. What's that Robin? How many push-ups you do? Weights? <coughs> Ask all these brothers. Sunil, how many you do brother? Push-ups? Huh? Workout. If you are so interested in physical workout, you should be more interested in spiritual workout. Why? Because you have a spiritual warfare that you are engaged in 24 by 7. I'm not saying don't go to the gym, but have the spiritual discipline in your life also so that you will see the victory. And Paul says, work out your own salvation. What is saying? Your own salvation. Say own salvation. Own How? Salvation. With godly fear and trembling. Oh I like that. Huh? That's why the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 11 verses 2, 3 and 4 it says Jesus Christ was then used with what kind of spirit? The spirit of wisdom and understanding and knowledge, the spirit of counsel and might and the spirit of the fear of God and he was quickened in the fear of God. And then the New Testament also talks about the spirit of grace and supplication. Amen. That's why Jesus has got intercession. He's an intercessor and he's even today praying for you and for me on the cross of Calvary. Right? So what we need to have? Huh? The fear of God and trembling. When we hear God's word, we need to tremble. Huh? We don't take the cheap, we don't cheapen the grace of God. Come on. If the terrorists can be so determined to blow themselves up with a bomb for their God and for their cause, how much more a Christian needs to be determined with the love gospel of Jesus Christ. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. This brings life. That brings death. This brings life. Amen. When it brings life, how much more we need to be determined to bring life to the hurt in humanity. If they are willing to kill others, we are willing to give life to others. Amen. And the life of the Zoe kind of life, God kind of life, the, the kind of life that Jesus has. That kind of life we are called to give. So workout comes from a Greek word which in word which means labor for. Hmm? It means to toil. To acquire, I like that word, hmm? to do the work fully, fully, you start the work and finish the work, you don't leave it midway, you have put your, you put your hand in the plow, you not look back, you will press on towards the goal that God has given you and you will see the victory, you will not withdraw yourself, huh? the Bible says anyone who withdraws from me, God will not have it pleasure in him. Right? In the book of Hebrews it talks about it. Don't withdraw from God. Don't withdraw from the unction that the Lord has placed you. Don't withdraw from the ministry that God 
God has given you. Don't withdraw from the work that God has given you. If you have put your hand into the plow, press on. That's what the word workout means. That if I put my hand into the plow, I will not look back. I will continue to plow. I will continue to move forward. I will continue to do as long as the Lord will keep me there. I will continue to do that. <coughs> Amen. Mm. That's what it says. Don't withdraw. Huh? So workout means what? Labor for. To toil, it's a verb, it's an action word. To toil, to acquire, do work fully. So positioning yourselves is the work out action of establishing our will. What did I say? Positioning ourselves is a work out action of establishing our will. It's a human will. It's Samuel Tressler's will. It is Benjamin's will. Are you with me? Right? It is Preeti's will. When you are determined, no matter what happens, I will worship the Lord. Bang. Right? It was the will of Paul and Silas in the jail in Acts chapter 16 that no matter they were in stocks, no matter they were, they were beaten bad and they were thrown into the dungeon, they started to sing and praise the Lord. Come on. It is depending upon your will that you will not give up, you will not run away from preaching the gospel or planting churches but you will continue to do what God has called you to to do in spite of or irrespective of your circumstances right so what you are doing is you are undergirding your will that wants to worship the Lord that no matter what happens you will praise him no matter what happens you will pray unto him no matter what happens you will spend time in reading God's word studying God's word meditating upon God's word so that your faith will be undergirded by the power of the Rima of God's word and that's what God desires hmm? so once we have positioned our will we have positioned ourselves what is positioning right Jesus positioned his will in the garden of Gethsemane when he got down on the knees and he started to pray and he wept and wept and wept and his sweat came out and his sweat turned into blood the Bible says right he, he, he earned and yearned in his spirit and he said, Lord, you know, please take this cup away from me. You know, Good Friday is coming soon. Easter is coming soon. Right? Please take this cup away from 